So I was thinking, you know, more about the things that Zora would like, um, and I, oh, I want to read this poem because this, I wrote this about myself, but I think it really applies to her in a way that uh, I think you will see. It's called Be Nobody's Darling. Be nobody's darling. Be an outcast. Take the contradictions of your life and wrap around you like a shawl to parry stones to keep you warm. Watch the people succumb to madness with ample cheer. Let them look askance at you and you askance reply. Be an outcast. Be pleased to walk alone, uncool, or line the crowded riverbeds with other impetuous fools. Make a merry gathering on the bank where thousands perished, thousands perished for the brave, hurt words they said. But be nobody's darling. Be an outcast, qualified to live among your dead. Mm. Now, I, um, I was reading um, Robert Hemingway's book and Valerie's book and Carla's book, and I just found these three short pieces that I, I think Zora would have loved. Um, and speaking of what she would have loved, um, she loved red, and she loved gardenias. So there, you can't see them, some of you, but there are gardenias all around the, the podium. So this is, this is from Valerie's um, amazing book. <clears throat> Freedom, Herson believed, was not a commodity that one race could give another. Not a commodity. Freedom, not a commodity. Not a commodity that one race could give another. Nor take away. Because it had little to do with po political or even economic gains. For her, it was deeper than that. It was, it was, it was, it was a self-respect. self respect self respect, that was born of cultural and spiritual attainment. In Moses, after all, the people had to wander in the wilderness until they had songs and singers, until they had a god of their own, until they could grow men and women in place of slaves. Grow men and women in place of slaves. Men and women in place of slaves. Once a critical mass of black people had attained this internal freedom, Hurston felt, more pragmatic freedoms would be inevitable. Or, as one scholar has put it, Hurston's, quote, revolutionary message was this, liberate the self and all else follows. Never succumb. And that Moses that she refers to is Moses Man on the Mountain. Uh, and it's a wonderful book. And I hope that, you know, now that their eyes has been properly launched and is everywhere, people will turn to Moses Man on the Mountain because it's wonderful.